popularly these two are known as procedural and conceptual. I the conceptual understanding cannot be given uh, that easily. Right, uh, so let us begin, okay, so I've uh, we thought of talking to you about uh, mathematical knowledge for teaching. As to do anything with this equation, at the very beginning we should recognize that x is not equal to plus or minus 2. They are not solutions, because if you just substitute, it's not satisfied, you get undefined expression. Divide by hypotenuse, then 0 over 1 is 0. So, you don't, but you don't have a right, you don't have a triangle. What will happen if 1 is equal to 0? <laughs> if you add 1 to both sides, you get 2 is equal to 1, but 1 is 0, so 2 is also 0. You can show that the whole real that. number line is 0. So, all the numbers would be, See. life would be so boring, no, cannot do anything with numbers. So, some of you got one answer, negative 2, some of you got two answers, positive and negative 2. Those who got negative 2, later say, um, though I got it, it doesn't satisfy the equation. Now, <coughs> that, this is why, when by finding a solution, we are, you are trying to find values that satisfy the given equation, that satisfies the given equation. Uh, we multiply a number. By what numbers are you referring to there by saying number? Any uh, real number. Or, yeah, ah. or negative number. We can't have a minus number when we multiply it by the same number. So, we can't get the square root of this number. That's why we decide. 0 over 0 is also undefined. Okay? 0, 0 is undefined. Now let's get this straight. A solution to an equation is a value that, satis that should satisfy the equation. You might have gotten a value, but if it doesn't satisfy, it is not a solution. So you can definitely say this is wrong. Now what you have to do is go and see where you went wrong. But you get, got this, right? So you must have done some mistake. <laughs> 